Every child should have a house. Every child should have a food. They should have a right to live with the dignity. That's my fighting and that's my dream. I'm doing this uh, work um, uh, 27 years. Uh, so uh, already I rescue over 1,600 children and uh, uh, under our care we have 500 children. I, I grew up in a small village and our roof used to be like a, um, not so strong and then water was dripping and life was very difficult. And uh, my brother used to go to school and then, but uh, as a girl, I was not sent, sent to the school. So when my brother used to do homework and I, I learned, but I had no pencil. Now it's everywhere pencil, so I had no pencil to write in book. Uh, also, I didn't have, so I used to write on the ground. I taught myself. Every kid's uh, older girls, they take care of the younger one. Everyone has a responsibility. When I started to go to school, always I read about the story, like I, uh, his history of the, all the people, uh, you know, philosopher, how they face the challenges. So I said, I can also manage. If our uh, heart is the right place, uh, nothing happened. And whatever people, doesn't matter, I'll uh, get education like a man. Uh, there was a mental ill people also live together and some aggressive women. The women fight and children around, so it's not safety for the kids. <laughs> I call them survivor, not like a criminal. So many times, like real criminal are behind the curtain, and uh, survivor who has uh, no bread, and they have to no no job opportunity, and they end up in the prison. This is Boo, and she was abandoned by her parents uh, during the earthquake time and she was a premature baby. She was one and a half kg, and nobody can think that she can survive. Uh, my, my night, my day, every second, very special baby she is. <laughs>